So if we cut out the triangle and we ripped it up just so, see what we're trying to do is get so if we put this angle and this angle and this angle together, we get one big angle, right? So they would just like be one big angle together. Uh, should look something like that. This is a Mine sure does look like that. I copied it from my um, okay, just gonna mark some of this out. What if it doesn't look that good? Well, well, should look oh well similar to this. That's what I want you to figure out. Like what what relationship could you say all of the angles in the triangle have together? This is the beginning of our notes, meaning we write them silently for ourselves. Own records, place. No, it's not. What happens when you don't write on a piece of paper? Look, people, I'm not sure what you, how you treated notes before. Notes are things that you uh, write down and record and keep for later, not throw away when you're done. Okay, so write it. A piece of paper, you'll keep, write it, keep writing. I want everybody in their own notes without talking to each other to make an observation about what I'm asking you You're on your own without talking. Hello. Said it shows half of a circle. And a half a circle is, is, worth, is 180 degrees. Okay. So it basically makes a line. 180 degrees. Now, maybe, maybe that's just my triangle. Dalton, how about your triangle? Did it work out something like this? Yeah. It worked out like this? It made a straight line like that? Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is where you start to lose it. Where you this is this class is by far the most pressed for time because this happens. Somebody says something, somebody else starts to say something, and everybody just erupts in whatever. Okay, let's try and be organized, calm and collected. Okay. How about Brandon? How about yours? Did it work out like this? Make a straight line like that? Yeah. Okay. We didn't cut them out perfectly, probably. Mm -hmm. right, so it should look pretty close. Jackson, how about you? All right. So it seems like we're sounds like yeah. Whoever did this and we put the angles together, if we put all three of them together, we made a straight line. Is that true, or is it not true? Did somebody not get that? No. Got the triangle here. Yeah, I didn't get the. That's okay. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Angle. Angle. There's no. There's an angle. Oh, right there. Right. So there's no angle. Somewhere. Throw this guy here. This one over. Yeah. See? Hold on. Do that. Angle. If you were to draw the little circle things, that shapes, we have an angle. Like this camera right there. Microphone that hears us together. No, the camera's facing the board. But, yeah. And yours? There's no need for you to start talking and saying that there's a video. 
You can just remain silent this whole time. It'll work perfectly fine if you do that. So she just, the, the previous part of the video, she just did that. She just cut it up. She did that. No, we're not going to turn off the lights. You can't see it. Just keep looking at it. Listen. Just telling you what she says to what you want, right? So, that is why, because you may not realize uh, how useful it is to see that kind of stuff, to see why things work, okay? You, you, you may not have fully appreciate it until you're a sophomore in college, okay? But, please stop, go with me. That is how we're going to approach any new subject. If I tell you that the angles of a triangle add up to 180, I'm gonna help you see that and be convinced of that. Okay? Just like we talked about the area of a triangle, the area of the trapezoid, all that kind of stuff, I'm gonna help you see why that's true, all right? I just help you see it for some specific examples, and now we're gonna see that it would have to work for every triangle that you could come across, okay? You ready to see that? Yeah. For every triangle that you come across would have to be the case that we add to 180. It's not just a coincidence that the ones that we drew and cut out and ripped up and put together add up to 180. Right. So first, I'm going to take this triangle and I'm going to uh, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. Okay, which means that like, I'm going to flip it over like a pancake. I'm going to flip it completely 180 degrees. And I'm going to rotate it around this middle part of that side. Right, so here we go with that. All right. So this side was perfectly flat, right, on the bottom. We rotated 180 degrees, so now it's perfectly flat and on top. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to take this triangle down. I'm going to rotate it around the mid part of this side. Let's see where that gets us. All right. 
And the reason I did that with the whole rotating and everything, uh, that way we can see, like if I just took this triangle and split it over here, like it looks, that's exactly what it looks like. I couldn't be sure that this triangle would fit in between perfectly. But seeing that I just rotate it 180, then 180 again, well, this side must be flat, just like this side. They must be in a straight line, right? Agree? Yes? Yeah. Okay. And this one must fit right in between, because it was I've just this is rotated 180 of this, this is rotated 180 of that. Okay. So they're in a straight line, and that one fits perfectly right there. Now, let's give these some labels. But I like when I talk about angles, and I try to see the relationships between the angles. I like to give them colors rather than letters, because the letters can be taxing. Okay. So that one's black. We'll make this one blue. Let's make this one red. Those look black, blue, and red? They all look the same color except they have. Okay. Make one of them like a green. Make one of them a green. Or a white. Let's try green. There we go. That looks better ish. It looks still black. It still looks black in here. I think if you look at it first, I know they do start to look like each other when they first draw it, but if you keep looking at it, you'll see. Okay. Do your best. This one's going to be black, this one's green, and this one's red. Okay. I know that depending on the person, we might have some trouble with some colors, but it's about as different as I can make them black, green, and red. All right, so I took that and I rotated it 180 degrees. So this triangle must be exactly the same as this triangle, same side, same, same angle. What can you tell me about this angle? If I look back at this other triangle, it's the same as what, Jackson? Black. Same as the black one, 180 degrees. This guy comes right over here. OK, how about this one down here? What's that? Green? Green? Give a shout if you disagree. That one's green. And how about the other one over there? Red. Red. Okay. Then we took that triangle, we rotated 180 degrees, we got this one. So what can you tell me about this angle? A green. Green. Green also. The exact copy of that green angle. How about this one right here? Red. 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 And how about that one again? Black. Right there? Black. Black. Okay, so what's this angle right here? 180. 180. 180 degrees. Let's see what makes up that 180 degrees. Red, green, and black. Red plus green plus black is 180. Well, red, green, and black. Red, green, and black. Those, sorry, red, green, and black. Those are the angles that make, well, that are in this triangle, right? Could I do that for any triangle at all? Yeah. Tall and skinny, rotate it 180, rotate it 180. Yeah. Works again. Yeah. If it's long, like really flat, skinny, and wide, will that work too? Yeah. yeah. Rotate it 180, rotate it 180, yeah. right? Yeah. You see, those three angles will always wind up next to each other. And those three angles will always be equal to the three angles from the triangle that we started with. Okay? So, all of the angles of this triangle have added up to 180 show you one other one. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna start with this guy. I'm gonna put the, the top of the triangle right there up against that line. Okay. So this line right here, this side here is flat, and this one's flat as well. So they're both flat, what can we say about both of those lines, those two lines? Parallel. They're parallel. That's the word. They're straight. They're both straight right along each other. They'll never cross. So we call parallel. Okay. So this line. Just gonna draw your attention to it further. Then I'm just gonna keep drawing this line up that direction. Keep drawing this one out that direction. All we want to see is what's blue. Let's make that blue this time. Plus red. 
Bless. White. Well, white's not going to work Orange. this time. How about she? Orange looks the same as red, though, yeah. Oh, that's white. pretty different. I can't say it. I'm about to draw these angles in a white space, so if they do white, it's not going to work very well. Oh. Mm -hmm. black. White. No. All right. Let's do black. No. Gray. Oh. No, no. Do the right matter. <laughs> <laughs> that's not good as it gets. Now, I'm going to look at this. And that's what, we're looking, that's what we're concentrating on. What can you tell me about this angle here, right here? Um, that's blue. 180. Yeah. I think it's yeah. no, that's all. Oh, that's what we got right here? No, that's like. That's 120. Blue. We don't know how big any of these angles are. Well, why don't we measure it? We don't. Why don't we measure it? Well, we can just say it's the same as some other. Blue. It's the same, same as blue? Yeah. Yeah, it is because it's like. You just flip it. So it's just, you know, this line is extended this way, this line is extended that way. If I have this angle and that big. It's kind of intuitive that they would be the same as each other. They have a name. Whenever I have two lines like this, you cross each other. This angle and this angle are called the vertical angles. And the vertical angles are always equal to each other. So that one must be equal to the blue angle. How about this angle? Red. 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 Think it's the same oh. as red? Oh. Yeah, red. Why do you think that? Um, because it just is. If you flip it, 180 red is in that corner. Yeah. 180 goes there? Yeah. No, like the straight line away. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. no. oh. 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 About, would you believe that this angle and the black, since they share this side, right, this line cuts across both of these parallel lines, would you believe this is the same as black? Yeah. This is parallel, right? this line and this line are parallel. So like we got two flat lines. If I draw this line across both of those parallel lines, then this angle and this angle, I think they'd be the same. Do you think that this would have to be the same as that angle? Yep. Yep. Okay. Let's see if I can convince you that that's not the case. I'll draw a different triangle, like this. Try to make it nice and flat like that. Draw a line here that's parallel. And just like before, I'll continue these lines like this and like this. Right now, we're trying to talk about this guy here. I hear some of you saying this is the same as the red angle there. Do you think that this angle and this angle are the same? Yeah, no. No, no. no. One's bigger. One's bigger. Like 85 degrees and one's bigger. Like 20. But is this one maybe the same as this no. one? Yes. Yeah, yeah no. Yes. 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 Yeah, yes. it is. Yeah, yeah we have. Both straight lines. Uh, these are two, by, by straight you mean parallel? Yeah. Yeah, they're two parallel, parallel to each other. So if I draw, I'll just draw a line across both of them. Yeah, right? they're and parallel. And it must meet this one and this one at the same angle. Okay. So, same thing here, parallel. To this line, draw straight across there. We have black angle there. Why did you open that? A red angle on the other one. And a red angle on the other one. Yeah, smart. I'm getting smarter. So again, we see red plus blue plus black is how big? 180. There to there, 180. We know it's 180 because that was a straight line to start with. That's how we drew it. So two different proofs that the angles of a triangle are equal to 180. All right.
right, let's use some algebra here. So we call this angle x, this one y, this one z. I want you to write an equation using x, y, and z that's always true. I don't know how to do that. All right, so what equation can we write with x, y, and z? So, x plus y plus z plus I mean, q. Good. Oh, well, I sort of got that, but I didn't. Hi, x, y I plus z for 180 degrees. I did this weird equation. You did this weird equation? I don't even know if it's like Okay, is this always true? Yes. The angles X, Y, and Z add up to 180 degrees always works, okay? Uh, on the next page is gonna be your homework. It's gonna be pretty simple. I just want you to find, okay, these are three different triangles, right? They don't have to relate to each other at all. This has nothing to do with that one, and this has nothing to do with that one. I just want you in each case to figure out here what's X, here what's Z, here is this one, what is Y? Okay. But I want you, right, we're, trying to, we're trying to learn some algebra here. I want you to not just tell me how much they are, but write an equation. Okay? Write an equation for each of these. How many points is this worth? Five points. How are we to like, write the equation? Well, very similar. You have a 262 well, plus 57. The equation there. And then you do 180 minus that. Right? Correct. I'm not looking for a way to figure out what they are. I want you to write an equation. I want you to write like this plus that equals that. Right? I want you to yeah, don't just do a thing. Wait, write an equation. Yeah, write an equation. And then I'm going to solve it. Yeah, have a good day. Bye. Uh, Alan, wait. Better wait, wait for me. It's yours. Well, now we're just.